And so they, they opened the borders for a period of time, you said, and, and allowed right. Jews because to Because there was persecution there. Yeah. The borders were open. You're allowed to civilly leave, but you had to leave all your possessions behind. And you were allowed to leave the country. Once you left, really, you were stateless at that point. So when we left, we were stateless for, uh, you know, several months in Europe. We considered going to Israel at the time, and my dad had called his sister there, and we came from a wealthy background in, in Baghdad. And she said, son, I would never tell you not to come to Israel, but I have to tell you, this isn't the life that we came from. She said, we're living in tents, and we're in mud up to our knees every day, and food is scarce. But of course, I'm going to not tell you not to come, but I want you to know what you would be coming to. It was just at that time that Canada had issued us a, a permit and a visa. Mm. So the decision was made at that time that we would come uh, to Canada. Parts of the family went to the United States, parts came to Canada, and the greater part went to Israel. All right, so there you are. You, you meet uh, together, and somehow this project started gelling uh, together. How, just briefly, how did the, uh, you guys well, get together? As you know, uh, to do projects sometimes, and <laughs> you you hit walls. Mm. I hit a major wall, and I, and it was financing to be honest with you. I said, you know, I really want to do this. I want to do it right. And uh, a major funder had fallen through, and I was so disappointed. I said, I I just felt God wanted me to do this, and what happened? I guess we all have stories like that. And I went out to Bill's house, and I was sitting there one day, and I was talking to him, and I said, Bill, I, we've hit a wall. I can't I can't go on, and he had been watching and been part of this and we'd been talking, he'd been in a lot of the meetings, helped support the first trip we took over to Israel. And uh, I looked over at Bill and I said, I, we're dead in the water, basically. And he looked at me and he said, uh, no, no, I will uh, come alongside. Uh, this is important. And maybe you can pick it up from there, Bill. I was, I was really responding to Duck's conviction and his you know, great love for Israel and uh, it strengthened my own. I'd been looking to do a project for very many years that was a significant project for Israel. And um, I, I just couldn't turn him away. He was very, very compelling. His love just draws everybody in. And um, I said, I have to support this. I have to do it at, mm -hmm. at, uh, at any cost, uh, you know, of time or dollars, whatever it is. This is something that we have to do. And I do have to credit Doug with having that powerful magnetic that you know, drew me into it to make the final commitment. Mm -hmm. And I was on a little bit of a journey to understand Israel mm -hmm. and God's covenant with the Jewish people. And to try to, <laughs> I had an experience, if I can just real quick, I hope I can do this. I was uh, on the golf course interviewing a fellow from Cellcom. And it was a moving experience for me. I, I looked at him, after the interview was over, I thought the cameras were off, but they kept running. And I looked over at him and I said, I feel, this is going to be very emotional, I feel like as a Christian, I need to ask you to forgive me and to forgive us for what's happened in the past and the persecution that we brought on mm -hmm. to the Jewish people. So please forgive me. And I just, I started bawling. I couldn't, because really, I mean, if we know our history, and, and I suddenly realized how important that God, when he has a covenant, God doesn't give up on his covenants. You know, if, if, if he gave up on his covenant to the people of Israel, then how can we believe for the covenant that he's made with us that are Christians? Mm -hmm. So I thought, I've got to connect more. And that was one of an amazing experience with me. To, I don't think even as Christians we can understand the Bible and what we have. Jesus was a Jew. Mm -hmm. He taught from the Torah. Everything we have from his message was from that. So it was very, very powerful. Well, one of the, the clips uh, in the film deals with the, the wonderful freedom to worship in Israel, no matter what faith uh, you're from. And, and why don't we just have a quick peek at this? And, uh, yeah, this, this, yeah, this is a powerful part. This fellow is a, a cantor. Yeah. And uh, we were on the Mount of Olives. We had a tour group from Korea watching. They were Christians. Right at that same time, Ramadan was going on and there was 70,000 Muslims praying and he made some very powerful statements mm. so we could take a All look right. at that. Let's have a look. 
And freedom means freedom to pray and to worship. It has to here at the intersection of the world's three great religions. So the freedom of this land is not by war, is not by arguing, is by understanding the values of it. And you know what? That's why we have three big religions here. Like today, by the way, we had like 70,000 Muslims praying, you know, just behind us. Which country in the world, Arab country, for example, will let 75,000 Jews, 100 Jews doing a holy prayer on a Friday? Christians come here and pray, and they pray in peace. That you will see only in the land of Israel. We have to be open-minded and we have to be able to share. And to respect each other is to accept each other differences. That's respect. That's love. All right, freedom to worship. Uh, so, so important uh, for you know, certain countries that, that's just not available. But uh, Israel certainly as a democratic country is, is trying to reflect and honor and respect uh, all people. And I think the idea too, Duran, shared values. Mm -hmm. If you go to Israel, you realize that there's really not a whole lot of difference between what the Israelis stand for, you know, women's rights, all of those type of things, rule of law. They're much more like us here in Canada mm -hmm. than probably uh, anywhere else. I mean, it's an amazing thing. So we have these shared values, which I don't think a lot of people really understand. Mm -hmm. We try to bring that out in the documentary. Now this is just so fresh and new. It's just been completed, and I know you had a, I think a, a, a screening just recently. You're one of our first interviews. All right, yeah. and so uh, it's a privilege for us to, to be part of uh, of the launch of this, and really to let people know, you know, watch for it if if you hear anything about it coming into your area. Uh, Bill, any uh, any plans for the near future? Well, we just premiered it two nights ago in Vancouver. And uh, there's another screening on March the 29th at the Coastal Church in Vancouver. Mm. We're presently speaking to broadcasters. We're presently speaking to uh, media distribution companies. Uh, we're speaking to several ministries. And we're feeling our way forward at this mm. point. But it looks very promising at this point. All right, so you can watch for The Original Promise. And your website is theoriginalpromise.com. If they want to buy the DVD, of course, it's available off the website. But yeah. Okay. Yeah, and, 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 up, and it'll have updates of, of things that might be happening in the We have a blog of, uh, on, you know, everybody's blogging nowadays, right. so yeah. we're, we're blogging away. <laughs> Very good. And, and always at crossroads.ca, you, uh, right. you can go to contact a guest if you missed the information. Uh, and you can always find a link on our website to theoriginalpromise.com. And, uh, and also, you'll find on our website, there's usually opportunities. Uh, you'll see usually on the home page, on the right-hand side, upcoming uh, trips to Israel. And I think the one you'll see there right now is uh, with Ellen and Nazar Shaheen, uh, my sister Ellen, of course, with the Light for All Nations uh, Arabic television ministry. And they're going to uh, the Holy Land and uh, it's going to include Israel and Petra. Mm -hmm. And so it's coming up uh, May 15th to 28th and there's still room, I was just told. And so if, if that uh, is something uh, as we say, it's a wonderful place to visit, and after viewing the film, if you ever have a chance to, you'll realize uh, you'll want to get there. Uh, so again, at crossroads.ca, or you can call their number right into uh, their office, 905-335-0700, extension 21. And then I think later in the fall, I think uh, my parents are taking another tour. They, wow. they just... They've love, been there like 70 times. There. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Doug and Bill, thank you so much. Thank uh, you, God Rod. bless you on your, all your thank your you efforts. You. And uh, it's great to have you with us. Thank you very much.